So what would you say then in terms of, because a lot of people think that by buying a cheaper property, you're buying junk. You're just buying absolute dives and you're buying crappy quality properties yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Having, mm -hmm. having gone on both ends of the spectrum, having sort of, you know, like, Four, 480 purchase price, 500 purchase price is not is not upper end of the spectrum, but you're worth looking at and thinking about how do we buy these like 700,000 to a million dollar properties and touch them up a bit, as you said, Lauren. How, so you've kind of looked at that end of the spectrum. You've bought in the middle end of the spectrum and now and, and you've now bought on the in the lower end in the, in the 200s. What would you say to someone who, who might think, okay, by buying a cheaper property, I'm going to be buying junk. What would you say to that? Um, I'd say rethink it. <laughs> Why? Because... Like, it's they are great property. Like it obviously comes down to the area as well as the property itself. So there's no reason to spend more if you can get better returns and essentially better properties at a cheaper price. And then by buying cheaper, you can also buy more, more often. Yeah, and with that, by having the yields a little higher as well, that allows you to keep that serviceability up. What were you going to say, Lauren? Um. Oh, I, I showed my family and my friends the photos of the place that we got. And everyone said that it's like, oh, it's so cute and clean and like nice. So no one's looked at it and thought, oh, that is shit. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Cool. You bought a crack den. No, no, no. No, <laughs> yeah. so, no everyone had really good things to say about it. So it's totally. Nice. So Tony, so you bought one now. You're you're in a, you're in contract for a second one right now. For a little bit of context for for people who are listening to this and, and all that kind of stuff, they're brick. They're you know they are they are brick, aren't they? They're both brick. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're good quality brick. They've been renovated, good condition inside, good land size, all of that kind of stuff. Good yields. So ostensibly, you know, you're attracting pretty good tenants. And you guys on the property that you settled on recently. By the time that it, we had a big surprise with that one, didn't we? Didn't we? We thought it was going to be six point two percent yield at the start, and by the end, by the time it settled, it was seven point four. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was massive. I, you guys have predicted, I think a three hundred and ten to three hundred and twenty dollar a week rent, and we ended up getting three fifty a week. So, yeah, like, which is a massive shift. That's a huge. That's a huge shift. Yeah, I just about crap my pants. When I heard that. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you didn't quite do that. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. 